With nearly 200 passengers aboard, this ferry had nearly completed its crossing from Nova Scotia to PEI when minutes from shore, something went wrong. The fire alarm started going off and we thought somebody pulled it to be funny or it was the um, alarm to go back to your car. But um, I turned right around and there was smoke coming right from the, like the engine thing on top. It was kind of scary. It's just in shock. Like, I was just saying in my head, like, what the heck happened? What happened was a sudden fire in the engine room. The ferry captain threw down his anchors and stopped the ship in a shallow area close to shore. The Coast Guard and even local fishermen hopped in their boats and scrambled to help. Well, the first response was to make sure we can get everybody off it and safely and, and thank God, it, like I said, it was close to Wood Islands and and it was a perfect day to transport people. And we all got our life jackets on and they got the rips out and ended up putting the slide down and started evacuating people. Children first, it was kind of like a surreal thing where it's like, this is, is this really happening? It took about an hour after the fire started to get all the passengers ashore, all of them without injury. Though it could be days before they get their vehicles back, officials say they can't safely tug the boat back to shore until the fire burns out. You don't want to enter the, the engine room in order to introduce oxygen um, and reignite the, the fire. So without their vehicles and luggage, dozens of passengers' PEI vacations aren't exactly going as planned. They have been put up in hotels for the night. We're concerned about our camper, but I'm really glad everybody's safe and nobody was hurt and we all got away safely. This ferry was built in the 1970s and there are still questions about what went wrong here and whether anything could have been done to prevent this fire. Canada's Transportation Safety Board is now putting together a team of investigators to try to answer those questions. Steve Bruce, CBC News, Wood Islands, PEI.